Alright guys, a quick video here on hides, and uh, there's two kinds of conditionals that you can add to the cockpit OBJ, this, uh, what's called a hide and a show. And I usually stick with one rather than using them both. Um, if you stick with, with one, then the other one uh, is not true. So if a hide is true, then it's obviously going to hide. If a hide is false, then it's obviously going to show you can do the same thing with a show now what I mean is um, let's look at a hide in a cockpit OBJ like right here uh, anim underscore hide um, what this is doing is this is um, it's a it's a it's a conditional so this is the condition this data ref when this data ref is between when the values of that data ref is between 0.5 and 2.5, then it hides this knob. So this is the chunk. I've got a little note in here. It needs to be on when sim cockpit switches HSI selector is zero, hidden when it's either one or two. Okay. So this is the range value where it's hidden between 0.5 and 2.5. So it actually goes a little bit over, and I go um, just a bit over zero. So at any time the HSI selector is zero, it's not hidden. So then this knob shows up. When it is higher than zero, one or two, because that there's a switch on here that, that goes between one and two. Um, zero, one, and two is basically the three-way switch. When it goes between those, um, that's the switch. So if it's on zero, uh, it needs to be on and right now it's hidden when it's not at zero, but when it's on zero it's showing and so the the other one that's right on top of it the duplicate would be um, This knob here nav 2 so that's nav 1 so when HSI selector is 0 then it's nav 1 when HSI selector is 1 Right, that's when I want it to be nav 2 Right, so how would we do that? So first of all, we would come in here um, right above the manip axis, and we would type in anim hide. And we want it on when it's 1, and so we need to hide it when it's 0. So the first thing we would do is to give it a value of 0 to 0 0.5. Okay? What that's going to do is that's going to say if it's at 0 or 0 0.5, it's going to be hidden. right? And then um, you need to give it the data ref that's that it's conditional is right so now when it's at zero it's hidden now we want it to show at one but then be hidden when it's two so then we need to make another anim hide so anim hide and then i'll do we want it to show at one but we don't want it to show anything higher than one so i can just go 1.5 to whatever anything higher than than two so I can either I can go two two will work or I can go two point five. I used I, I like to use the point fives above and the point fives below um, as a range just just so that there's no chance of it ever getting confused, right? So then that is how you would do that. Now if I was doing shows, if I was going to do shows, I would do anim underscore show, and then I could give it the exact number I want it to show at and then it will hide at all the other ones so I could go anim show one one and then it would show at one and it would hide the others um, but then I would need two anim shows down here um, you know what I mean so it's either it's either work with hides or work with shows I like to work with hides uh, it makes it it makes it I for whatever reason with my brain it works better so if I did that right there now if um, my HSI selector was on one, which is the nav two on the switch here, then it's going to show the nav two's knob. If the HSI selector is on zero, which is nav one, it's going to show the nav one knob. And if the HSI selector is on two, it's going to hide both these two because it hides it hides the nav two knob by this hide, and it hides the nav nav one knob by this hide. And then the the knob will just disappear if you don't have anything. Uh, on two because these are both hidden which is the case because in this thing the nav two or i'm sorry the the number the data ref number two uh value is actually that gps and gps you can't you can't there's no knob for that that's on the gps itself so if i come in here and i tried to do anything on the gps see how it doesn't 
it doesn't work like that. You have to actually use the GPS to adjust that. So if I go to nav one, now what it is right now is it's this like plus minus thing, which is you click it once and uh, it goes up or down. That's And if you hold it, it'll kind of roll slowly up or down, see how it's doing that. But if I use the mouse wheel right now, nothing's going to happen because it's not set as a knob. So I'll show you how to do that in, um, I showed you how to do it manually. Let's, let's show you how to do it in AC3D real quick. Um, if I come in here, there's the little guy. If I select that guy, it selects a bunch of things. So I don't actually want to do that. Um, I'm going to select nothing there. And uh, let's uh, take, we'll take this one, right? That's that's a single one. And I'm just going to duplicate it. So I'm going to go edit, duplicate. And I'm going to move it over. And we'll make this one our nav one. Right? And so the first thing I want to do is is make sure it's selected and I want to make it an animation group. So I go up to X plane, make animation group. And it's going to take this, it's going to plop it down to the very bottom. So watch. Hit make animation group, clicked it, knocks it all the way to the bottom, and it makes it into a group. So it's group animation and it puts it under there. That's what we want. Now I'm going to deselect it and then I'm going to assign a hide to it. So I go to X plane, make hide, right? Sorry, I think I have to actually select it. Let's try that again. Well, let's see what that did. Yeah, it didn't do anything. Let's do it again. X, X plane, make, hide. Yep, there it goes. And it put a hide right above it. Above it is important, okay? We'll talk about um, that in a second. So I go up here to the hide. So just select the hide right here. It's not actually an object in the cockpit OBJ. It's just a hide. So I go into X plane, object properties. And here's where you set the values in the data ref. Okay? So I can go... Uh, make sure I know what I'm doing. I'm doing nav 1, and I want 0.5 to 2.5 on this data ref. Right. So 0.5 is the low value, 2.5 is the high value on that data ref there. And that means that uh, it's going to hide when it's anything other than 0. It's going to show when it's 0. Right, and that's it. So that's that's that one. Let's make another one. So now I want to come in here, and I want to make sure this is all set up. Disable drawing. I've got it set for heading dial. That's not what I want because I duplicated the other one. So let's fix that. We want it to actually be nav one OBS. Right. The knob is good, that's what we want. So all the values there are fine, disable drawing, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Now I wanna select, now I'm gonna duplicate that again. I'll put a, put a, a knob right on top of a knob. I, still, I call it a knob because that's how I'm actually gonna make it work. You're gonna click it, you're gonna rotate it with your wrist and it's gonna work. So imagine this is actually a round knob. So I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna uh, select the whole animation. Now watch what happens, I'm gonna duplicate. When I say duplicate, it, it takes it, you see nothing's at the bottom, it puts it all the way at the top, but it hasn't put it up in an animation yet, right? There's just two things, there's a poly and a hide with no animation. So I want to put these in an animation, so I go up here, leave those selected, both of them, and I'm going to go make animation group, and what do you think it's going to happen? It's going to send it all the way back to the bottom, right? Make animation group, now it's going to put them both in a group again. Okay, so there's our first one. This is our second one. Now, if we if we don't pay attention, it's going to put the hide underneath the poly mesh every time. Uh and and it won't work. So when you do your hides, you need to make sure they're always above the poly mesh and always in sequential order. We'll talk about that in a second. So I'm going to put that hide up. Just going to click and drag it above it. And let's go ahead and make this one. So, explain object properties. Now it's going to have that data ref because it's a it's a copy of the other one, but I just need to adjust the values. So with nav two, what did we want? We wanted it to hide at zero to 0 0.5 and 1.5 to 2.5. So zero to 0.5, right? And then I'm actually going to duplicate that hide. Edit duplicate, and it's going to put it up here. And I can click, drag it all the way back down there, put it here. Right, and I'm going to edit the object properties, and what did I say, 1.5 to 2.5, right? Yep. 2.5. Now, the way I have it now, it's going to put 
this hide above this one in non-sequential order. Now, what does that mean? If I start at zero, if I hide from zero to 0 0.5, I need that to be first before the 1.5 to 2.5 when I do ranges, okay? So otherwise it won't work. So you always have to go low to high from top to bottom. So I need to take this one, put it above this one, right? And then that's it. So now I have my polys and I can change this one to nav two instead of nav one very easily by just going in here and making that like that. And then I want to take these and uh, put them up into the cockpit OBJ because when they go to the bottom, they're not actually in the uh, LOD. So it does it won't work. If you exported that, it wouldn't work. You need to put these uh, either at the very top or the very bottom, but at the inside the group default LOD right underneath that, right? So I need to make sure that uh, that worked, which it did. And so that's it. And then you would export that, and then there would be um, a knob up there. Now I've already I've already done that in here. Let me make sure my hides are good, right? Hides are good there. Hides good there. Got my comments commented out. I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna reload this and we'll check it out. Make sure it works the way we want it. And you can also it it's not always just the data ref and the and the values of the data ref. It's also it also could be hide on the same data ref with with uh, different values. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. It can get kind of confusing. I, I totally recommend writing it out. For example, if you look here, I wrote out all the things. So this is for the actual knob on the G3000 uh, in this thing. Um, we want to hide a knob when it's this, and, and, and it's for this heading dial. And then for the nav 1, we hide it when it's this. For the barometer, we hide it when it's this. For the autopilot, we hide it when it's this. So you have to kind of wrap your head around it, sort of ride it out so you don't get confused. The menu buttons, again, I have all these different hides. Um, and, and if you see, so these menu buttons, I've got this this here. There's a menu 2, which is a whole different set of five buttons, and a menu 1, which is a whole different set of five buttons. Okay, So basically, I just picked one. I picked menu 2. And what I did is I hid menu two when menu one is up. So when so when menu two um, equals one on its data ref, that means menu two is up. When that is the case, then I want these things happening under each button. Does that make sense? And then menu two when it's not up means it's zero. So when menu two is not up and it's zero, then I want these things to happen. Does that make sense? So you kind of have to wrap your mind around it and just check it out and see if it's going to work for you. I'm going to turn on the show clickable regions here. We'll uh, throw the uh, avionics on. Battery's already on. We'll come back here and we'll check it out. So you see our meshes are on there. Nav 1 is selected. If I use my mouse wheel, it rolls, right? And that's a, that's a 0 on my HSI selector. Now if I go here and I hit this, it changes it to nav2, now I'm at 1 on my HSI selector, data ref, and it shows nav2 there, and if I do that, then it rolls the nav2. Now let's go to 2 on my HSI selector data ref, and I should have nothing. And I do, see, the mesh is completely gone, and nothing can happen. Does that make sense? So that's a hide show, and it's the same thing I did with this knob here, there's actually four different knobs and you see this little button mesh that's the heading sync so when i click on that it, it syncs the heading but that only works I think yep so when i when i'm not on a uh, when i'm not on heading right it disappears watch see that disappears and why because it doesn't matter like i can't adjust the heading because i'm set for course so that knob is not even there and doesn't even matter the only time that that a uh, little button for heading sync pops up is when I click on heading, right? So I have it set to hide on every other every other uh, scenario. Um, again, you can do shows. I, I choose to do hides because that's my thing. There's five different knobs here, and at at any one time, four of them are hidden and one of them shows, right? And the same thing here. These five buttons are under that menu. Right now, menu one is showing, and then if I hit menu. 
Now all the buttons under menu two are showing and all the menu one buttons are hidden, right? And I did that by selecting menu two. Menu two's data ref is right now one. Uh, with this here, menu two's data ref is one. And so these five buttons shows up. When I click on this, menu two's data ref is zero and these five buttons show up. And that's the trick. That's kind of how it works. And I hope that makes sense. And I hope that's helpful for you guys. Thanks.